Well, hey there, guys. Anybody who's listening right now, whether you're first time or you've listened to all of our podcasts, all of them, we want to welcome you to the Proclivity Podcast. If you're joining us live on the Proclivity Method Facebook page, welcome. We love having live people. We love having live people. If you don't know what proclivity is all about, we do one thing, we don't do one thing really well. We help you create a healthier body and a happier life. That sounds pretty cool. And that's because it is cool. It's something that both Emily and I love to do. Emily is the genius when it comes to the nutrition side. I work the language and the mindset. You put those two together, it becomes very potent and very powerful. And we do it through a program called the Proclivity Method. It's a method that Emily and I came together, put together, and it is unbeatable. We are the Muhammad Ali of nutrition programs. There's nobody else out there like us. You come in thinking that you're going to receive this one thing. And not only do you receive that, but you receive a multitude of other changes within your life. We teach about metabolic flexibility, how to harness your body's own energy source, the body fat you already have, to be able to have sustainable energy throughout the day, to be able to lose that body fat, and to be able to create the body composition you're looking for, all while creating a life you love. Because that's what we do. We change your mindset. We get you out of that old funk and into a new life. Change creates change. Am I correct, coach? Correct. You just got to change it. It's, it's called a pattern interrupt. Too often we're like, I'm going to do this. And then you kind, of, you kind of do that until you're like, oh, but I'm going to go back to what I always do. That is the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> expecting a different change. Um, one thing we were talking about before this podcast. We were talking about the eight sleep mattress. And Casey, if you're listening, we were talking about you. We were talking. Sorry. We're talking, yeah, yeah. And was like, oh, sorry, sorry. We were, we were talking about how great the mattress is going to be when the time comes. And Emily has it on her. Emily and Casey has it on her and his bed. And it's going to be per- perfectly fine, right? It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't know what Eight Sleep is, check it out. ApeSleep.com. Helps you get better sleep throughout the night. As you guys know, if you've listened to us before, sleep is a huge component for us. You want to feel better? Sleep. We have a whole podcast on it. Go look at it. When you sleep, your stress goes down. You balance out your hormones. You eat better throughout the day. You burn more fat. It's just sleep. And what Eat Sleep does is help you get better sleep. Go to eatsleep.com. Use the code Joel to receive $150 off your, your order. I still can't get them to change it to proclivity. They, they have been <laughs> a right. pain with that. I'm like, I feel like I want to be at Joel. Like, if this was Joel's, the time. Joel's perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, but it was the time I was switching over from, you know, the business that I can't talk about to the business that we have now. <laughs> so I was like, well, what am I going to say? Yeah, it was Joel. It works. It works. Coach, what are we talking about today? Talking about supplements. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Well, I, I get lots of questions on these. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Guys, there is no one silver bullet to solving your health. Yet, the supplementation company really likes to make you believe that if you take their one supplement, all your problems will be solved. <laughs> right? Yep, the marketing world and the supplements, it's, it's fiery. It is fiery, and that's why we take a different approach here with Proclivity. We use, we are part, and when I say we are part, the head uh, chief of nutrition. I just created that title for you for Proclivity. 
she runs uh, is on full script. And what full script is, is a place where practitioners like Emily go to be able to prescribe practitioner grade supplements. So not all supplements can get to full script. You got to be high grade to be able to get here. And so this is a very unique design that we use to make sure you have the best supplements and will it be expensive? It could be. Yet it will it do its job? Yes. And so this isn't about the marketing and the flashy stuff. Full script is what we use. If you're interested, email us team at proclivity.co because you don't just get to go in. You can go to fullscript.com. You can even create, create an account, but you're not going to get any supplements until you have a practitioner like Emily go, cool, you can be part of my team. And that is one of the reasons why we do it. We want to make sure that you're getting the best possible supplementation for what you need. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Right. Check us out. Email Emily. Look her up on Instagram if you're interested. Yep. She'll get going. Email, DM me. DM me. <laughs> on Instagram. Do you remember when you didn't have an Instagram? Mm-hmm. It was MySpace and then Facebook. <laughs> MySpace. Do you remember? Did you ever have a pager? No. I did. <laughs> I did. It's the coolest. Uh... I might I'm, be dating you. <laughs> oh, it for sure dated me. 2001, I want to say, is when I had my pager. <laughs> just right on my hip, right in my pocket. So cool. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Beep, 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 beep. And you'd look back. Oh, okay, cool. Can I, can I use your landline, dude? I got to call back this number that just called. I wanted. <laughs> right? Anybody else who can, can uh, uh, resonate or connect with that? Hit me up. DM me. <laughs> Let's talk about supplements, coach. Let's do it. Let's dive into it. Guys, there's a world of supplementation out there. Millions of dollars is spent on supplementation. There's over 6,000 brands, new brands starting every single day. Why are they starting every single day? We've talked about this before. We live in a capitalistic society, uh, which is a beautiful thing. Yet you have to know that everyone's trying to get your money, including us. Uh, some businesses are going to be doing it for the right reason. Other businesses are just going to say, oh, sweet, we know we can make money off you. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of supplementation companies. Yes. Would you agree? Oh, yes. So oh, yes. Oh, majority of them. Majority, right? So there's yep. a lot of nutrition programs out there. They want their money. They want your money, right? They're not the same as us. Yes, we want your money, but yes, we are going to make a massive change in your life. That's going to last. And uh, when it comes to supplementation, there's just, there's a lot of them out there and it's a huge, huge industry. So we're going to set things straight. We're going to dive into supplementation. Uh, We're going to be talking about what supplements are. We're going to talk about what supplements that you should be taking in general, um, you know, what supplements are good, what supplements are not so good, what's the difference between taking supplementation for everyday health, what's the difference between taking supplementation for performance. We got a full plate here, and we're, we're going to do it in 20 minutes or less. So let's dive in. Let's do Coach, it. Coach Emily, let's start mm-hmm. it off. We always like to be a words matter to us, right? Mm-hmm. What are supplements let's start off there yeah supplements are anything that you're adding to your diet to enhance your health and it can come in the form of a pill a powder a gummy bear (laughs) um in and they can come from whole food sources or they can come from something that is made synthetically and so that that's a big thing to pay attention to now, when you're saying gummy bears, you're not talking about CBD gummy bears, are you? No, no. Well, oh, uh, that's technically a supplement, I would say, but <laughs> that's not what I was talking about. You know, the gummies that you find, the vitamin gummies that everyone's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, these are healthy. <laughs> they, well, they sure taste good. They do. <laughs> they do. 
I, I, the uh, <laughs> again, that might be one of those companies we were talking about that they're like, <laughs> "Hey, we know you're addicted to sugar, so we'll actually put sugar into this, and then we'll you know throw some vitamin C into it and go on your day." Good. Yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> you're good. You're good to go. Um, okay, so th- defining what supplements are, uh, why do we need them? What what supplements haven't always been around right or can we date back to supplementation being you know before it was being produced in a lab like were people supplementing with natural resources and plants and herbs and so on and so forth you know do we really need them have we always had them uh yeah break break that down yeah so There has been a form of supplementation for a long time in the form of herbs and spices and the sun. You know, there's so many different concoctions that different cultures cultures have figured out in, you know, the far past to help certain remedies as far as being sick, Mm -hmm. as far as like having rashes on the skin, you know, actual health ailments. And so understanding that those come from something natural coming from the earth that are not synthetically made. And yeah, they're natural. And so that's something that they would include on the daily or when they needed. Yeah. So, so in modern day, (laughs) um, usually we take supplements for a number of reasons, chronic stress in our culture, Mm -hmm. because chronic stress leads to our depletion of nutrients and their specific ones. Um, there's more blue light in our modern day. And so that's depleting us. Um, being inside too much or living in an area that doesn't have enough sun but usually people just being inside too much not getting outside enough in the sun their skin in the sun sunscreen wearing too much sunscreen all the time that that doesn't allow your skin to to absorb that vitamin or make vitamin d um the toxins in our beauty products and our cleaning products and our house and you know our workplaces those will deplete us um, and then our standard Amer- standard American diet is just so high in refined carbs that you're not getting enough nutrients there. So then we oftentimes seek out supplementation to make sure we are getting those nutrients. And then, and then one of my favorites to talk about that a lot of people may not think about is that our soils are depleted. And so if you don't have regenerative agriculture going on in, in the type of farming you're doing, you're reusing the same soil over and over again. And that's not how we used to do it. And that's, and that's not a good thing because you're not going to be getting the same nutrient profile and what you're growing in that soil if you don't properly treat it or rotate it. So those are the main reasons why we'd want to take supplements. Um, there's obviously other reasons if you're having other health issues or you are trying to enhance your performance in some particular way, like a professional CrossFit athlete, for example. Right. Um, so there's lots of different reasons why you might take it. Um, and it depends on the person. And what really just pulled me in there was you talking about depletion, right? When we think about the word deplete, depletion, right, or depleting, it's it's like a a, a battery that's lessening. Yep. And what we were coming back to, and what I constantly kept hearing you is this depletion is happening because of our environment. Yep. The stressors from our day including our water, our air, Mm -hmm. our food, the products that we have. The products are such a huge one that people don't recognize. What is it I saw? I believe you posted 85% of things that are said to be a fragrance Mm -hmm. have an impact on the endocrine system. System, yep, yep. And there are endocrine disruptors. And so... So many things. If you look at the back of the label of, like I said, cleaning products, beauty products, they will often have fragrance in it, even your laundry detergent. So many things you use every single day. Um, and those can be contributing to your health issues. And it's in so much. And so becoming educated on it is so important. And so when we're talking about depleting, so the, the stressors deplete our, our vitamin source. Right, takes up energy and, and depletes the vitamin source. And yeah, get, yeah, the vitamins and yeah, it'll deplete. So, like for example, magnesium is used in over three hundred different functions in our body. So it's used, it's used a lot, 
And if you're more stressed, you use it up faster because your body's working overtime. Mm. <clears throat> and so it's going to take up more vitamins, more minerals. Um, and a great example, like you said, the water. Like if you have too purified or distilled of water, it's not going to have any nutrients in there. And so there's just all these different factors, um, including like you mentioned, the endocrine disruptors and the fragrance. That's those act as like synthetic hormones in some people. And so it's going to throw your hormone balance off. And so it's all about your body wanting homeostasis, mm -hmm. a balance mm -hmm. in the electrolytes and the minerals and the vitamins and hormones, all of those things. And they tend to in our modern day are very out of whack because of all these things we just listed. Yes. And the homeostasis is so important, right? The homo homeostasis guys is something we used to just live with all the time, right? It's our body's natural way to be able to be at peace. You feel at rest, you feel your body feels good. Everything's operating at a good, good pace. And this is one of the things that we talk about in the proclivity method is like you're living at 70% maybe. And you think it's your hundred. Yeah. You, right. you actually don't know what homeostasis is like mm -hmm. you having you feeling bloated every day right you having a headache you waking up at three o'clock in the morning your your mind constantly racing that's not homeostasis that is the farthest thing from homeostasis yet animals can literally get attacked by a predator get away from a predator and get back to homeostasis within a short amount of time Yet we're living, living in this constant stress state. And when we're living in this constant stress state, we all of a sudden, we, we drop the, the depletion of those minerals and vitamins drop because they're having to work overtime because there's this constant thought or process of, of threat keeping us out yep. of homeostasis. Then guess what happens? Our immunity goes down because our body is working overtime. We're not sleeping enough. Then what do we do? We end up getting sick. Then when you're sick, right, you don't eat the same, yet da 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 and the cycle goes on. Simple and easy are not the same things, guys. That's why we teach you the simple things in the proclivity method. And it works. <laughs> and it works. And you get to do it the rest of your life and stay healthy and live a long, happy life. So now that we understand the depletion, what happens, the stress, homeostasis, we should be taking some supplements, right? Yep. Yep. And again, it depends on the person and what kind of diet you eat on the regular. And again, like I mentioned, how often you're out in the sun or where you live in regards to the sunlight exposure um, and what you do for your job. But yes, there, for the majority of us living that standard American life, yes, we should be taking certain ones for optimal health, including my favorite, like I just mentioned, magnesium. Mm -hmm. So magnesium is, again, a big one because it has so many duties in our body that we and again with our stressors so i always recommend a magnesium supplement especially to women um, because with our cycles we tend to be more depleted as well and so this one i like to talk about because oftentimes you'll see if you go look for a magnesium supplement on the shelf it'll be magnesium citrate or magnesium oxide and those are not the best forms those mm. are going to act as uh, laxatives. So if you're constipated, it might work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's actually something I do recommend in a, when you're in a pinch. Um, <laughs> but, but we want, there's different types for different things. So if you're experiencing PMS, headaches, cramping, um, so many different things that you're going to want a different type. What's and that so type? I so for most people, glycinate is what I recommend. Malate is also another great one for energy, for cell energy, and that is what's in Element, the electrolytes we recommend. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's L3 and 8, which is great for people who have migraines or headaches. And that, mm -hmm. That's the only one that can cross the blood-brain barrier. And so, and, and there's more, there's even more than that, but those are the main ones that I, that I recommend. So there's magnesium, super important. You definitely want to include magnesium-rich foods. Um, but again, our soils are depleted. So you want to be looking for organic local foods when you can, mm -hmm. that'll help that nutrient level. Um, the next one, like I mentioned before, vitamin D this is such a big one, especially oh right gosh. now with everything going on with the pandemic, there's more and more studies showing that basically if your vitamin D levels have been at a healthy level an optimal, I shouldn't say a, a rate like, you know, when you go to the doctor, they're like, oh, this is the optimal range. 
And really, for especially for vitamin D, it's it's a little low. You should actually be a little bit higher than what that range is telling you. So pay attention to what that number is. But if we, there's, again, the studies are showing that if we have optimal ranges prior to maybe catching COVID, you are like 99% uh, more likely to not get as sick or die from it. And mm -hmm. so it is, it's just the biggest factor that, uh, you know, the biggest influence on your health right now. And so making sure you're getting out in the sun with your skin in the sun, not just your hands and face, like, <laughs> take a look at Joel's life <laughs> shirt off life. when it, when it's time. <laughs> yeah. When, when oh, you yeah. can. Um, and same with me, I'll go in my backyard and like when I was pregnant, especially like I would just lift my shirt up and sh expose my belly or, um, w put some shorts on just for even like 15 minutes, mm -hmm. go sit outside. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you're not able to do that because of where you live or it's just not working out in your lifestyle, taking the supplemental vitamin D is huge. And in the thing that I don't think most people think about is you want to take a vitamin D that's paired with a K2, vitamin K2. Mm -hmm. The reason being is when you take just, it's all about homeostasis. If you just take vitamin D, vitamin D is synergistic with calcium and vitamin K2. And these all work together. And so if you take too much vitamin D without the K2, then your calcium likely is going to be circulating in your blood. It's not going to be stored and utilized properly, which could lead to bone issues mm -hmm. and it can lead to you know a host of other things and so it's just making sure we're taking um vitamin d with a k2 yes. and that, that could be literally vitamin d3 k2 or you're taking it with k2 rich foods like cheese and dairy products and meats yes yes and you guys can see that, that we're always going to push you towards the more natural organic uh, way of being able to receive because we've we this has already happened We've lived thousands of years without any type of additional supplementation, yet our soil was very rich, our water was very rich, air was very rich. All the things that we needed were given to us. Yet, there's a lot of people on this earth now. It's not the same thing. And so being able to adapt to make sure that you get those appropriate amounts of vitamins, minerals, so on and so forth, is super super vital and you guys have probably mm -hmm. already heard at this point like oh wow well, i didn't know that you know wait not don't wear sunscreen all the time guess what guys in the morning and in the evenings when the, the spectrum of the sun is is uh broad most broad it's not the the rays are not as harmful as it is in the middle of the day we don't suggest for you to go out in the middle of the day and sit there for an hour. You will smoke your skin out. <laughs> Yet in the mornings and in the evenings, being able to expose your skin with no sunscreen for a shorter amount of time, you're totally fine. Your body's going to love the heck out of it. And if you're going to do it in the middle of the day, you still can expose your skin. You just need to do it for a shorter amount of time. 10, right. 15 minutes, right? Keep it very short mm -hmm. depending on your skin. If you have yep. fairer skin, right? Less time, so on and so forth. Yet it's huge, 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 huge. Not only for your mental health, but also for your physical health. Exactly. So we can see the importance of, of supplements, even with a few examples that we're giving, talking about vitamin D and talking about the K2, which a lot of people don't know, the magnesium, um, we just had a client uh, send us some pictures of the supplementations they were taking. And of course, what was it? It was magnesium citrate, right? And it was from uh, Nature's Bounty, right? Nature's Bounty? Is that Nature's the Way, I think? Nature's... I don't know. One of those. <laughs> Nature's yeah. Way, I think. It, maybe it's Nature's, Nature's Way, right? And you guys are probably thinking to yourself, oh, yeah, I went to CVS and got the Nature's Way. Are all supplements good supplements and if they're not are we literally wasting our money or are we getting anything out of it oh yeah a lot of supplements are not great because of the form they come in mm -hmm. so in addition to the type of magnesium um there's things like folic acid for example folic acid is the synthetic form of folate and 40 percent of us have a genetic mutation that doesn't allow us to absorb that and so we need folate instead of folic acid. Otherwise, you're taking folic acid as a supplement and it's, again, circulating in your blood, doing nothing, causing harm, most likely, mm -hmm. building up. And so that, yeah, the type is very important and depending on who you are and if you know some genetic factors, even if you don't, it's better to take folate instead of folic acid. In addition to the type, 
in why you're taking it, there are so many fillers and supplements. So you want to make sure that the brand you're getting is third party tested because for example, I'm sorry, I love Costco, but their Kirkland brand supplements are full of fillers usually, and they don't get tested. And so, yes, it is money down the drain. <laughs> you may be absorbing a tiny bit of it, but it's not worth the money you're spending on it. And then you may not even be absorbing any of it because it might be the wrong form. And so paying attention to the form, ideally we're getting it from food sources. So it'll say on the bottle if it is, um, but if not paying attention to the form and the quality and if it's third party tested. So what I received from that, <laughs> <laughs> what I received from that is there's a lot of supplementation companies out there that aren't delivering what is needed when it comes to getting appropriate supplementation. Yeah, they're just getting the cheapest form they can because like, oh yeah, magnesium. Like they don't even think about what this next, you know, the step further of like, oh, what type is most important and what form and what do we put in it, you know? So mm -hmm. there's so many factors that people, yeah, like you said, they're just out to make money and people yep. are gonna buy it. Which brings us back to the same point when it comes to food because food is our uh, original medicine and how uh, different companies will market to be able to go, this is healthy for you. And then you look at it and goes, oh, look at all the oils that are in here. Look at all the seed oils that are in here. Mm -hmm. Look at all the fillers, right? And so just like the food companies, there are also supplementation companies out there. And all they want you to do is go, you feel better for taking it, huh? You might not actually feel better physically but mentally you're like well i took my supplements today right i had look at this package said keto so i'm in ketosis right this says usda organic so it must be healthy <laughs> okay guys we're trying to elicit a response from you to recognize and realize do a little bit of research do a little bit of research and we're giving that to you right now very yeah. simple instructions of being able to find what is best for you so now we know we do need supplements because we don't live a thousand years ago we didn't need as many supplements now we need supplements we also know that not all supplements are good supplements there's actually a lot of just waste you're not actually getting better you may feel good because you're like hey i popped some supplements so that i'm going to be protected from all the colds flus and covid not true <laughs> not true um so we know that it's important we should be taking it on in a, in a general sense what what supplements do most people take right very general no guidance mm -hmm. people are just like mm -hmm. i need to go get some supplements i don't know the data i haven't looked it up I, maybe we're gonna be shooting in the dark a little bit here but mm -hmm. on average sub subjectively here from the yeah. clients we have, what what are the supplements that most people are taking? Yeah, from the clients I have is typically a protein powder, a vitamin C, maybe a fish oil, um, and maybe a greens powder. Those are the most common ones that I, I see people taking, in addition to what I just said, the vitamin D and magnesium, which is great, but the forms typically are not correct <laughs> or optimal. Um, so yeah, so the calcium one, it's similar to the D3, K2. You want to be taking that with D3 and K2 if you're going to be taking it. Um, but usually you get enough calcium from the food you eat. I would say if you're eating a whole foods diet, like at least 80, 90%. Um, and then vitamin C, yeah, it could be a good one too, but the form is super important there too. Um, because most typical vitamin C's are not going to be super absorbable in your body. So eating more fruits and vegetables are going to be your best bet with vitamin C. Protein powders, again, a big one. And what I see most, oh, so many, they have the fake sugars and mm -hmm. so many fillers in them. Mm -hmm. And in synth like so many synthetic ingredients in dyes and sh oh, the crazy sugar level is just insane. So the fake sugars is my, my biggest beef with those. <laughs> the aspartame and sucralose, mm -hmm. that's what I recommend keeping your eye out for and avoiding those because those disrupt your gut microbiome balance, which disrupts your mental health. Um, can cause headaches and so many other things. And so finding a quality protein, you know, if you are do well dairy, whey protein is the most absorbable 
form. I always look for a grass fed way, higher quality. Um, and then I look for the most simple ingredients. And, and if there is a sweetener in there, it's either stevia is a great one or coconut sugar is another common one that I approve of, but I do not approve of the fake sugar ones. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cause I, it, a lot of people are taking protein mm-hmm. because that's the number one thing that, uh, supplementation companies can get you on. Hey, you need some more protein. Got to get your protein. Have a protein shake. Meal replacement. If you have this protein shake along with the, you know, the smoothie and blah 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 blah, you're gonna you're gonna feel great. Yep. And then people end up skipping whole foods altogether. So the stuff that we're talking about in terms of being able to have enough calcium, magnesium, K2 that it is readily available in whole foods, mm-hmm. right? Meats, cheeses, vegetables, fruit. Yep. People are skipping it over trying to replace it with protein shake or a a meal supplementation that ends up having that aspartame in it and the fillers. And those fillers, do they disrupt your gut biome? Yeah. Oh, uh, not all of them, but a lot of them are just one. Yes, they can, they can cause gut issues, but two, like they're just fillers. So it's empty cal like, and it's not, they're empty calories. It's just like, it's added stuff that your body has to process. So it's just more stress on your body, if that makes sense. That it's, it's not real whole food stuff, really. So it's just yeah. more stuff for your body to process. And then again, coming back to stressors, stressors, de- depleting vitamin and, and mineral count, right? And so we think that we're placing in good things, yet if they have these fillers and these fake sugars and then we have a stressful day and we're not eating a whole food diet. We're actually depleting mm-hmm. these, this mineral and vitamin count, which then puts us into this process of our body knowing intuitively we don't have enough of these minerals, vitamins. So then it says to us, well, you need to eat so that we can get those minerals and vitamins. So then yep. cues of hunger start coming on. Then we start going to look for food. Uh, my Cravings, days, lack of energy, yeah. lack of energy. Our day is crazy because I'm running around because I started off my day with a protein shake anyways and a meal replacement because I don't have enough time. And now all of a sudden I'm going to the processed food and the cycle starts back over again. Yeah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I, there is a time and place I believe for a protein shake, but it comes down to what kind of protein do you have mm-hmm. and are you using it every single day or is it as a supplement like when you need it so like when i travel or when i am like in i did you know i just did a workout and i didn't make time to plan a meal to eat right after Mm -hmm. yeah that that's going to be helpful especially because it's protein but again quality and how are you using it so how often do you take a protein shake or use protein throughout the week maybe once or twice yeah 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 Yeah. and I, i would say same with me like I, I don't even actually have any protein in my house right now. Um, yet yeah. <laughs> it, it can be a hand, it can be a handy tool. So we're not we're not saying yeah. you shouldn't be having it. Yet people use it as a crutch. Is right. that fair right. to say? Yep, totally. That's fair to say. So we're we're gonna say that. Um, yeah, whole food sources are always ideal. One hundred out of hundred times. <laughs> Let's talk about a lot of these supplement co- uh, companies use uh, focus more solely on performance because there's a lot of money there right you get a athlete to say like i drink this and i'm a super uber athlete you know no it has nothing to do with your genetics and that you're an incredible athlete yet it's because you had drank this one protein shake that you just started doing in the last 30 days and that's why you're an elite athlete get the heck out of here (laughs) yeah a lot of people go to supplementation for performance Mm mm-hmm now, is there a difference when we're talking about performance supplementation and health supplementation? And really, where should our more of our focus be when it comes to this? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're like a high performing like athlete that was working out four hours a day every day, like that's a stressor, major stressor, stressor on your body that may require additional supplementation because it's hard to get enough of those nutrients because you're burning through so much. Um, which is, that's a very small percent of the population. So most of us, um, should be focusing more on health and whole foods. Um, you can't out supplement a poor diet. 
It's plain mm-hmm. and simple. Like you, most people are like, oh, I'll take the supplement and that'll help. Like that's a tiny lever. Focus on the, the big lever, such as your sleep, your quality food, you know, those things. You, it's not going to make that big of a difference by just supplementing. And so focusing on the health versus performance. Yes, again, there are things like maybe some creatine could be helpful if you are, if you do have some performance goals um, and additional protein, you know, stuff like that. But for most of us, it's typically not needed unless you have some issue happening. Mm. All the people, all the all the people out there uh, with their their performance supplements. Um, listen, guys, take them, take them. If you're again, like Coach yeah. Emily said, if you're an elite athlete at this high, super high level, awesome. Yet. That's the quality. Fair. Quality. Pay attention to the quality. The quality. And you know what, guys? It's it's actually more important that you're you're getting the right quality of vitamin D, K2, calcium, than it is that you're getting the perfect balance of creatine. It, it, again, unless yeah. you're doing four hours a day and you're really training for the Olympics, and guess what? They make sure that they have quality K2, yeah. magnesium, so on and so forth. So it's not just about the the creatine and the protein and then making sure that there's the highest level of protein and creatine. And we're going to get into our, our, our supplementations uh, here in just a second and what, what people should be taking. Um, so with that said, when it comes to the supplements, which brands do we mm-hmm. suggest? do we suggest yeah so like you mentioned in the beginning i use full script because depending on the person and depending on your needs then i might have a different recommendation but broadly speaking i really like a company called seeking health i recommend that as like a prenatal um, they have a good magnesium a good d3 k2 um so i really like them um there are a few others like pure encapsulations is another general broad good one mm-hmm. um they use quality stuff for the most part um, by optimizers is another great one too. So usually I look for seeking health. Um, yeah. And there's a few others that I use that I, I can't think of at the moment, but they're all on full script. And so if you are interested in knowing specific ones for you, obviously I can work with you one-on-one, but if you're just looking for a basic magnesium or D3, um, I can point you in the right direction through full script. If you shoot me a message. Um, so yeah, those, those are the brands that I, I tend to go towards but i always before i recommend any supplement i always look at every single ingredient the type of nutrient that's in there Mm -hmm. and make sure it's right for that person um yeah and so so i and then what i typically recommend i don't know if you're asking this but as far as like the main the main supplements is that what you're gonna ask next yeah yeah go for it you got you got the mic (laughs) so so i already said d3 k2 I already said magnesium, glycinate, Mm -hmm. you know, for, so sorry, backing up for the vitamin D again, always get your, your levels tested ideally. So you know how much you should be taking. So some, you know, if someone's depleted in a D, then you're likely going to be wanting to take at least 5,000 units or more a day Mm -hmm. until you're caught up. Um, but for the average person, if you feel like you're, you, if you know you're at the optimal level or average, then taking 2,500 or 5,000 a day might be okay too. For magnesium, for most people, anywhere from 100 to 400 milligrams of the magnesium glycinate is a great starting point. If you know you're a lady and you're, it's the time of that month, right before, a couple days before, it'd be if you have PMS symptoms, it'd be a good idea to try boosting that up a little bit more. Um, so those are my top two, and then we talk a lot about electrolytes. Mm-hmm. In which magnesium is an electrolyte, yes, but there's other ones like sodium and potassium that are in the the brand element that we love. And those are good forms without any of the fillers. It uses stevia to sweeten. Um, So highly recommend that, especially if you live in a hotter climate, you sweat more, you eat a lower carb diet, you eat mostly whole foods. We need those extra supplements, um, those extra electrolytes. So whether it be salt on your food, like quality sea salt, or the element is something that I, I recommend to everyone, unless you're eating well, no, I'd recommend it to everyone. Um, it is higher in sodium. So if you're eating a highly refined carbohydrate diet, you might feel bloated. And that might be the only thing. Um, 
and then I also recommend like, you know, on the side, maybe if you have digestive issues, there's definitely, you know, some supplements that can help in the process as you're helping fit, as we're helping heal your gut. Um, those are a common one with a lot of my clients and then, um, omega threes. We've talked about this before. We tend to be in our culture so high in omega sixes and we don't have enough omega threes. Mm -hmm. And what we want is, are those to be equal or maybe like a two or three to one, meaning omega sixes to omega threes, because there's a homeostasis again with inflammatory and pro-inflammatory that we want to keep balance with. And so with all the seed oils, with all the oils used in restaurants, those are all the omega sixes and we want to get more omega three. So that's another one I recommend supplementing with if you do not eat fish in particular. As you guys can see, there's a lot to supplementation. And this is a reason that we highly suggest having a practitioner like Emily to be able to guide you through this. You could be wasting, let me take that back. Most likely you are wasting your money, even though it may, you look at it and you go to Costco and you're like, oh, okay, well, look at this great value. I, I should Joe's be getting vitamin D <laughs> or Trader Joe's. Yeah. I, I could use some calcium or some magnesium, right? And you're getting it, but you're wasting your money and you're not getting the benefit of the feeling that you want to have. Mm -hmm. And so that is why we use Fold Script. Uh, if you're interested, again, direct message, you can direct message uh, our business on Instagram, proclivity.co. You can Instagram Emily directly. Uh, what's your Instagram handle again? Emily Rodella. Emily Rodella. Emily Rodella. Um, or you can email us, team at proclivity.co. We can get you rolling on the appropriate supplementation that you need. Then it's just reoccurring. It just comes to your doorstep. You don't have to think about it. You keep taking it. You feel great. You feel great. Um, and if you guys don't know about Element, we can send you guys a sample. You Guys, if you want your life to ch change <laughs> drastically and quickly without it being overcomplicated, get some Element, try it out, one, two, three of those a day, and you, you're sleeping better, you have better energy, you have better focus, so on and so forth. Super, super, super important. Coach, anything else about supplementation before we close this thing out? Yeah, like you said, there's so many more other things that we can get into. Um, but I, so I encourage people to reach out, ask questions, and I'd be happy to help. Um, but my, my main point when talking about supplementation is I challenge you to get more whole foods in. It's as simple as that. Like that's, that's your fix. Um, I know we live in a crazy lifestyle where we're stressed, we're on the go, we don't have time. You got to make the time. And if it's slowly, perfect. Do one little thing at a time. Add carrots to your to a meal. Um, add one more ounce of chicken to your bowl. Like super simple stuff. Be that's that's the way to go. That's the way to go, guys. And this is why our program, the Proclivity Method, is completely different than anyone else's. Yes, they might talk about lifestyle and you got to make time and so on and so forth. Yet, if you have these thoughts running through your head that you have to be this perfect mom, that everybody's watching you at work and, you got, and you're the manager, you're the boss. You have to work those extra hours. No, you don't. This is just something you created in your head. It's a story you've repeated over and over and over again. We help you unwind that story because when you can unwind that story, the nutrition, the poor nutrition, the feelings that you're having, it's just a byproduct of the initial thought process and story you have in your head. When we undo that, then you make time. When you make time, you eat the whole foods. When you eat the whole foods, you feel better. When you feel better, you act better. You live better. This is the process. If you're interested in the Proclivity Method, go to www.proclivity.co. You can do a clarity call with Coach Emily and I. 45 minutes. If you want an hour, we'll even give you an hour. It's a high-profile call. You will leave with something to do. Even if you don't want to do the proclivity method, we will give you stuff to get going on. Take advantage of this. It is free for now. At some point, we're going we're to start charging for it. But right now, it's free. Okay, so head to www.proclivity.co or send us a message on Instagram at proclivity.co. 
That's it. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Emily. We're going to come back next week, as we always do, delivering you the content and the information that you can directly apply to your life. We give all our secrets through the, the podcast. Just listen to it. Listen to all the episodes. Your life will start changing. The end? The end. The end. That's it. See you guys. We'll see you next week. See ya.